My name is Cecilia Nicolini, I'm from Argentina. I'm a mid-career student master in public administration at the Kennedy School. And I think that Girls for Girls is a great initiative because we need more women leading companies, universities and governments to tackle the main challenge we are facing as a society today. I think that the 21st century will be the century of women. My name is Kwame Rugunda. I'm a mid-career student from Uganda. I support the program Girls for Girls because it addresses the historical discrepancies that have left the girl child traditionally behind. And this type of program is much needed both in the United States and anywhere else around the world, Africa in particular, such that we can get many more young ladies into public office to take their rightful place in the transformation of society. Hello, my name is Bruin Parson and I'm a Master of Public Administration candidate at the Harvard Kennedy School of Government. Today the world is facing increasingly challenges increasingly complex challenges. Way too often, white old men are in charge of solving them. And I really don't think it's right. I think we should do something about it and that more women should be in power and be able to make decisions. This is why I'm very proud to be part of the Girls for Girls initiative at the Harvard Kennedy School of Government. My name is Hamada Zahao and I'm Iraqi American. Prior to joining the Kennedy School, I was an international attorney advisor with the US Department of Commerce. And in my role and my capacity as an international attorney, we were advising foreign governments in transition about how to improve their commercial laws so as to attract trade and investment. And within our portfolio and within our mandate, we really wanted to be able to energize and operationalize uh, the role of women, especially in private sector reform and in commerce. However, we also realized is you can't just work from the bottom up, you also have to work from the top down and to engage women in all kinds of positions from the top down. However, simply engaging them is not going to be enough. In Iraq, for example, 25% of the women, or 25% was required for the parliament to be women. Uh, unfortunately, people putting their names forward that were not necessarily qualified simply because of gender. And I think that's exactly why Girls for Girls is going to be an excellent initiative to be able to train up and select the best people and the most qualified people to be able to run from the top down. Thank you so much. Hi, uh, my name is Dana, and I'm a mid-career student here at the Harvard Kennedy School. I am from Israel, I am a human rights lawyer and activist for women's rights. I think Girls for Girls is an amazing initiative, um, especially because I believe that girls, young women and women should take active part in leading but also in conflict resolutions because especially in conflict areas, women bring special voice, they, build, they bring special perspectives, a very diverse and um, um, interesting perspective of how to promote conflict resolution and how to build places after the conflict. And we know that places with conflicts like Ireland, like South Africa, the women were um, a big part in leading those places towards peace and security. My name is Agnes Igwe. I'm a Mason Fellow, Masters in Public Administration here at Harvard Kennedy School. Today, I really want to encourage girls and women to join politics. The reason why is because women are smart. And women, when women make decisions, they think about families, they think about social services, they think about health, they think about education. And who benefits? Everybody. Men, women, girls, and boys. So women, please, the world needs you. Join politics. Hi, my name is Gustavo Payan Luna. I am from Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, and I am doing a mid-career Master in Public Administration here at the Harvard Kennedy School. And I think, I think girls should rule the world. Um, I think the world will be a better place uh, with more women in leadership positions. Um, it is proven, and there's research that shows that um, women can be and are already great leaders. And I hope that we find ways, both men and, and women, to continue providing opportunities for younger women, for girls, to start getting ready for positions of leadership in the future. And that starts with education, with learning, with these types of opportunities, and, and the support system that we can create for, for them to thrive in an environment that has not typically provided them with, with those types of opportunities. So any chance that, that you have, um, it is important that we capitalize on, on, on that and we help young girls um, gain the skill set, the attitudes and the behaviors that will, that will help them um, reach 
uh, not only leadership positions in the public sector, which is very important, but also in civil society, in the business community, um, and obviously as the cornerstone of families, which is the, the cell of our society. Um, so I encourage all the young girls and everybody, men and women, to support them um, in these efforts and, and we'll have a much better society, I'm sure. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sarah Ventolf Smith. I'm a mid career student here at the Harvard Kennedy School, and I've come here after serving many years in UN peacekeeping operations. And basically, what inspired me to go into this field of work, which is extremely challenging, is my mom and my grandmother, who both were trailblazers of their time. And what I've seen uh, on the ground is that women are so instrumental in bringing about peace in their countries, and they're also instrumental in making sure that the peace that they achieve is actually durable. So for that reason, I do think that women are just indispensable to public service and they need to be in positions of leadership. Hi, my name is Lauren Powell. I'm a master's in public administration student here at the Kennedy School of Government. I really believe that it's time that women step up to the plate and be the leaders that we were always called to be. I'm really specifically interested also in seeing more women of color be on these platforms and to speak up for issues and initiatives in their own communities. That's why I'm really excited to be supporting the Girls for Girls initiative. My name is Piyush Tiwari. I'm a mid-career student here at the Kennedy School and also the founder of Save Life Foundation in India. Um, I first want to congratulate on the launch of uh, the Girls for Girls campaign uh, and the initiative. Uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic because uh, not only is it, uh, is it considering women's rights as, uh, as a challenge, but also engagement and involvement as, as a challenge, which is the next level uh, where we go after uh, talking about rights. Um, it's quite relevant for uh, us back in India, uh, even though we have uh, some involvement and engagement, uh, especially because the engagement involvement is fairly limited to um, uh, women coming from political backgrounds or from families. Uh, but there's an urgent need for uh, uh, you know, women from the wider society to come and get involved. And I think this initiative uh, especially trains and encourages women to do that. Uh, so, uh, congratulations and uh, uh, we all are here to support the initiative. Hi, I'm Natalie Kostic and I'm a Master in Public Administration student at the Harvard Kennedy School. I think the Girls to Girls initiative is an incredible initiative that I wish I had growing up. I have to say that I was very lucky because I had a very strong female role model in my mother, um, an immigrant who became a physician here in the United States back in the 60s. And then I was also lucky because I ended up working for a company that was very much in favor of promoting women to management positions. Today that company, 60% of its top management positions are occupied by women. I recognize that not everybody has that fortune or that privilege growing up to have such inspiring women around them. So the Girls to Girls initiative is a tremendous program that will teach young girls to have grit, to believe in themselves, and to understand how important it is that we have women represented in public positions. Hi, my name is Maru Sayed. I'm a mid-career MPA here at the Kennedy School, and I support women in public life because I have a six and a half year old daughter who once asked me when Hillary lost the election why people wouldn't vote for women. And I said, maybe you can be the first woman president of the United States because we need that other half to be represented and we want leaders who have empathy and can connect with people on the other side. My name is Farai Gundan and I am from Zimbabwe, a Mason Fellow here at Harvard Kennedy School of Government. And as I think about uh, women's participation in politics, I think about the little girls, the girl child uh, in Africa. I think representation. Representation matters because as a writer, I wrote for Forbes, I always thought about including women, women's voices the same energy and the same spirit that I believe in for politics. Women need to be represented in politics because they, they voices on our issues that pertain to us, that affect us, need to be heard. So it's important for you to sit at the table as a, a woman, as a girl, as a young lady, because you represent all other women. Hi, my name is Boris from Bosnia. I'm a student here at the Harvard Kennedy School. And I believe strongly in women's empowerment and women running for public office because of my mother who broke taboos in the 70s, because of my wife who is a superwoman, and because of my two daughters who aspire to live in a better world. Vote for women in public office. 
I'm now Bahori Mamova. I'm from Uzbekistan. I'm a proud student of the Harvard Kennedy School. I'm a Mason Fellow. I'm also a journalist and as someone who has been reporting about politics all her life for over 20 years, I don't think we should really spend a lot of time explaining why women should be in politics. We should focus on how we can be in politics. And I'm hoping that this program, Girls for Girls, will focus just on that. How do we get there? How do we become more relevant? How do we play a more active role in the societies we live in? After all, we're the integral parts of these societies.